Hey guys, welcome back to the Lands of the Pharaohs. I am Sir Duke, and in this part we're going to be looking at the alternate mission at the birth of the Old Kingdom. We're going to be looking at Abu or Elephantine, Procure New Wealth. And in the previous part, if you're watching through the whole playlist, um, I went on and did Salima Oasis, but you can go and look at that video separately if you're interested in that. But here we're going to look at Abu. Let's head to the city. A new pharaoh, Nebka, has been proclaimed heralding the beginning of the third dynasty of Egyptian rulers. Nebka has brought great organization and structure to Egypt, ordering that all our realm be divided into districts or gnomes, each governed by a local ruler called a nomarch. Though this system may seem rigid, under his leadership Egypt has grown and prospered and made many great achievements in art and architecture. Pharaoh wishes to extend the borders of our realm further south into Nubia. He orders that a city be founded at the first cataract of the Nile on the island of Abu, that we may take advantage of the abundant deposits of gemstones, granite, and sandstone to be found there. The growing necropolis of Abjadu demands these materials for the creation of more and more elaborate tombs for the nobility. The capital at Men Nefer too may have need of bricks for the construction of tombs, and Pharaoh Nebka may approve requests for these and other building materials. Pharaoh Nebka has also ordered that one of your peers establish a military post at the Salima Oasis to secure the caravan routes into the African interior. Once it has been established, you may look to the Salima outpost as a source of imported ebony a highly prized luxury good. It is indeed, and of course in the previous part, if you are watching the full playlist, we did Salim Oasis, did it just that. Alright, this is Abu, the Nubian border, and this is a very high population target already in the campaign. Normally you don't get to this kind of level until midway through the, the Old Kingdom, so we are being asked to build a fairly substantial settlement here at Abu. Uh, culture rating of 30, prosperity of 30, kingdom 50, very simple. So, looks as if we're going to be asked to send uh, items to Pharaoh. So, let's head to the city. Finer things. A few things here you've seen in the uh, other videos. So, this is just a little bit about temple complexes. Uh, jewelry. With a supply of gemstones, uh, jewelers in your city can fashion jewelry. Jewelry is one type of valuable luxury good which the higher social classes in the city demand. Quite often this is the easiest thing to produce because you can almost, almost always import gems. Um, apart from jewellery, which is a very basic one which most of you can provide in a city, you will need to import from other ones, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, quarry stone. To quarry stone, a highly sought after building material, build a quarry next to a rock outcropping. Quarrymen will deliver stone bricks one at a time to the storage yard. Make sure to employ architects to ensure the quarries don't cave in. Uh, let's slow time right down and pause. So this is clearly an island right in the centre, a lovely lush area. Lo and look at all these farms. Grain, lettuce, chickpeas, barley and flax. Unfortunately we don't have irrigation but there is a lot of farmland here. Um, looks as if this part of the Nile is blocked in by the river, so by the flooding, so we can't get down here. So we are going to have to conduct all our trade on this side of the, the map here. And down here there is a shit ton of rock. Um, I'm not sure, we could get a few down this bit as well near this what is this? Alligator? Crocodile, sorry. Uh, I'm not sure if we can get ones here. No, but we can get a few here and there. And um, there. And we will have to cross over here at some point. Now we start with 9,000, but these gemstone mines cost a lot. 480. We can also get granite, which is apparently more expensive than sandstone. I don't know how that works. Uh, the Kingdom Road is right here, so we have to cross. We have no choice but to cross the river. Uh, we can't build forts. Um, there are no military uh, invasions on this map, but we play long enough. There are troop requests much later, which is kind of annoying. Uh, what else do we have? we have? So we don't have clay. We have barley and flax, so we can produce our own linen and uh, uh, linen and barley uh, beer. Sorry, we can't import reeds from somewhere. We can also import plenty of clay. Hmm. So we are going to want to get some high level housing on here. Since we have two food types, I'm probably just going to go up to fancy residence. Since we have it. But we are going to need a bit of an industrial sector, which I'll probably put on this side or just up in this top bit here. I'm not too sure. We have a look at trade. We're here at Abu. There's Salima right there. 
Bedecked by linen, gems, and jewelry. They're all things we can produce, which is very good. I think we can produce bricks. Yes, we can from imported clay, which we can actually get from Bedet. They also sell us reeds, which we can make papyrus from. Abjadu buys um, not really anything we could produce, a little bit of papyrus, but that's they, they don't really produce anything that's worth money. They do um, buy granite and sandstone, but that's a land trader. That means they're going to have to cross from here all the way across the city to go and buy it. And it's not worth very much. I mean, if we look at the prices here, 45, 32, eh, it's a bit of work. Granite's apparently more worthy uh, than anything else, but we are not selling stone. We're just going to sell luxury goods and gems. It's worth more. Menifer buys beer and jewellery. That's useful. Tim, now you're going to buy linen, which is very helpful. You also sell me clay and copper. I'm not sure I'm going to need the copper. So not much in the way of trade, but we can trade with uh, Bedette very early and start selling these things. But I'm going to set up some housing blocks on this centre island. We do need a lot of people. 4,000. So I'm going to set up a housing block on the centre island. I'm also going to set up a little bit of a gem production area and some jewellery. And uh, I'll come back in once I've planned out my housing. Okay, so this is what we've gone for. So we're going to go for fairly generic box like this. I don't really want to do anything too fancy. We don't have a lot of starting funds and um, we don't have that much space. But I have drawn out pretty much all I need for two big housing blocks. I will have to cross an aisle over here. So I will probably put in just like a straight line block or something. Like a zigzaggy one, just like an organic one. But for now that'll do. Now I have put down these houses first. These ones second, and then these ones. I've also put down two gem mines here, which will at least get that going. And I planned this out perfectly, where all of this just fits into this space. So, up here and along this bit, we can have all our industry and everything needed to farm. Now, I haven't put any farms down yet, because I don't want to farm just yet. I don't see a point in doing that right now. I just feel it's important that we get workers on our exports, because we don't start with very much. And the exports that we do have of gems and luxury goods aren't worth as much as something like wood, for example, which we can't import here anyway, at least not yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to speed up time, let's just speed them up. So we've got this crossing here, and we'll have plenty of houses, I think. So this will start moving in. I provide them with all the basics, at least. I forgot to mention gods here. We've got Osiris and Ptah. Ptah is our patron, so we are going to put down... Um, I won't put it down yet, but we need to get people into the city. But I've got here a nice little loop here, just nicely designed that it'll go round in a circle. So even if I sort of, you know, roadblock here, they will go round in a loop, basically. Everything's all sorted there, so we've got people moving in. Um, how much spacing do we have? 160 people, that's more than enough. I, I won't get the first season, I think the first season is in late June. Yes, we won't be able to really support that yet, but I will put down uh, grain farms. Uh, grains are much more important good, but we're not going to have straw. So we'll just put down, what I'll do is I'll put a grain farm right there and just turn off straw like that. We can actually import fish, but we're not going to do that. Um, um, let's just see if we can get a few. Let's see, can we get... I'm just trying to see, so that's two there. That's one, there are two there, sorry, and that's another four there, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's more than enough really for now. And I will set up a bit of a work camp dump up here. I won't have them, I will have to have feeder housing because this island is too long to get everyone down. I mean I could even set it up around this area, have the houses touching it, but I'll think about that later. We are going to have pretty much grain, well food farms all up this bit here, we'll have about half and half. I'll also have a little bit over here because I can set up a bit of a festival square kind of thing over here, I'm not too sure. Over here I'll have more food and barley and flax. And um, yeah, this track that's playing right now, I love this track on this map for some reason, I think it just works so well. I'm not sure why. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let the people come in, and I'll set up farms later, but we need to get our exports running first. So I'll come back in once our exports are nice and running smoothly.
Okay, so we have started to grow the city, put down a lot more housing. Our industry down here is working nicely. I'm also making some jewel, uh, jewellery now because why not? And the flood has just come back, and we put down a, I put down a lot of farms before the flood anyway. And you can see I've pretty much drawn out how I want everything to go. So here we're going to have like all of our industry, like pottery, papyrus, beer, barley, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to have that all over here. And in this space here, we're going to have all of our distribution of food. So we're going to put down. I've worked out where everything can go, so I'm going to put down, um, let's see, two work camps. We're going to roadblock there because I don't want them wandering up into this bit. That'll get them lost and all of that. If needs are like stand this, so then I can have another one right there. And then here we can have, because I can put a granary there. That leaves space for all of this. And it doesn't matter which way they go, they will find employment of some sort. I mean, I can just roadblock these bits here just to make sure. Uh, but if they start collapsing up here, I will put in a roadblock here. But this is a nice employment line, essentially. So we should, in this first harvest, get some grain. Now, note to here is that we haven't really got an export score. We've not opened a trade route yet, and we don't have any sources of income. So I've got to be careful of how much I spend. We've nearly spent all of our credit. We started with 9,000. I did lower taxes as well, just to keep people happy. But we are going to want to get a source of income very soon, because at this rate, we will go bankrupt. So I think what I'll do is I'll wait, let the food start to stop out, because that should be more than enough to at least keep some of these farms going. I'm going to disconnect that there. More than enough farms here should be enough. I mean, if, I, if I put a farm there, that's going to mess up all this layer, so I'll just leave that like that. So we'll get some food harvested, and um, yeah, I'll come back in once the harvest is in, unless an event happens. Okay, so the grain harvest has just come in, a lot of food. And we've got all of our industry set up. I did put down one sandstone quarry, one granite quarry, just to make sure that we have enough money. Now we are just about to go and run out of money, but what we are going to do is open up this treasure to Bidet, which is going to buy all our luxury goods that we are making, which sells for 150, which is pretty good. That's going to have two demons. Uh, so what I've got here is I have rearranged this a little bit. I've moved the houses over here and put a yard here, which is set to accept half and half of gems and luxury goods. And over here, this yard is going to get each of them. So it's closer for the docks. He doesn't have to go across this ferry every time he wants to buy something. Now we've made, what, four of each, basically, out of these two quarries, which is pretty good. Since we are going to go out of money, there we go. Treasury ran out of Debins, hereby granted additional funds of nearly that's five, four and a half thousand. So we're going to use that to basically expand our, je our jewelry making. So let's put down. Um, I'm actually going to straighten that road. The reason being that I can put down that. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gem mines. I'm not going to use up all of the rocks, so it's okay. Uh, we've got a shortage of employees, which is not too good. How much food did we get? We pretty much maxed that out. So I'm not a, um, adverse to evolving the housing, but I think what the better solution is is just to put down more of it at the moment. Gods are happy. Just put down more housing rather than evolve it right now. We've got nearly 750 people out of it. So let's put down, with the remaining cash, let's just put down Two more gem mines, that'll keep all of this nicely staffed. So they've got a thousand luxury goods. They are going to have to end up crossing the Nile to get something, I think. Which is not very uh, helpful, because now they're going to be stuck in transit while this is going back and forward. Which doesn't help. But that's okay. And as I say, I'm not going to tap out every bit of rock for gems, so I will be able to put down additional jewellers when I um, get all the gem mines placed down that I want. City Outlook is growing, pretty much. I'm not too sure about military. I'm not going to build the military right now, especially when I don't have money. Why do you uh, dock people keep trying to go across the, the river for? I don't know, but... Anyway. You will get something. Whatever. But anyway. So, we've got our industry going. We've got our income source. Partially. 
And uh, we've got our farms going, which is going to provide us food. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run. And I'll come back in once anything happens that's important to the development of the city. Okay, so I have done a little bit of a rejig. Over here I put down a second dock. And work, rework this road a little bit. I have made it a bit longer. And you can see I put in a bit of a... That. Just to... This just allows them to get back quickly. I'm not sure if this will stuff up these guys because they might decide to go through that shortcut causing this to burn down, which would not be very helpful. Let's just see. No, they will always go around the loop. That's fine. This just allows a quicker way for these delivery guys to go around the side. There we go. We've got a thousand people in the city. We haven't actually fed anyone just yet, which is good. But we are rapidly running out of cash. I want to stockpile on luxury goods before we do anything. I have reworked this a little bit. This is now accepting gems it seems to have just turned off. Some of these buildings complain about poor access to workers for some reason. I'm not sure why because there's not poor access to workers. And we've got a nice little stockpile of sandstone. I mean this is just producing everything we need. I'm not sure if we're going to need more. If we need more I'll put down another yard for it somewhere. And we're not really producing enough gems. We're producing plenty of luxury goods so but not enough gems. I will wait for uh, more luxury goods to stockpile here before we sell any. We have got the trade route open, so it's not like I'm going to have to spend more money. Uh, the harvest will be coming in shortly and it will all get dumped in here, although not all of it will be because we don't have enough space, which is fine. Here comes, what's this, 400 luxury goods coming over, that's good. We're getting a nice big stockpile of luxury, ge uh, luxury gems, no, luxury goods. 1400, that's pretty good. Now we are importing a bit of clay. How much does it cost again to import clay? Uh, 38, not too much. So that's just going to stockpile for now to set up our pottery industry. And um, hopefully we get enough money out of selling luxury goods. We're we are actually just going to tell you to buy luxury goods tonight. Because there's plenty over here. Yeah, that's like number 1800, so that's pretty good. So we're constantly getting goods, which is good. So these guys are kept busy at all times getting luxury goods, which is what we want to see. I would rather them be uh, producing luxury goods than gems on their own because luxury goods are infinitely more valuable. So we are going to sell off a shit ton of goods now, giving us plenty of cash. There we go. That's what, 800? And that's preventing us from going into a debt anniversary, which we don't really want to see. Our kingdom ratings already dropped a little bit, which is not too good. And there's all our food in. I don't need to do anything else just now. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty of stone in this. I may be able to turn off these later. Anyway, I'm going to let this run. And I'm going to come back in once we've decided we're going to feed the populace. Because we can't do anything else yet. And I don't really want to start increasing our unemployment right now. Because we all have nothing to put them in. So, I'll come back in a bit later once there's something to show. Okay, so we decided to expand the city. We spent all of our, our remaining funds, I think it was what, 1500? Spent all just decided to evolve this house to get put some statues down. It kind of looks a bit weird because they are sort of like intermingled with tall and small statues, but it's fine. Over here, I am producing a bit of pottery. I um, don't really get much clay, but 800 clay should support this quite nicely. Way more than enough luxury goods over here. Can we sell luxury goods to anyone else? No. But we are about to buy a shit ton. That's just gone into debt. Which doesn't help. Um, where are you? Actually, you're still trying to sell clay, okay. So 239 in debt, not too bad. Uh, one thing to note about this mission is you get a town palace, which is worth 1,200. I'm not sure why we're having to build that, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to sell all our luxury goods and get out of debt. There we go. Quite a bit of... Money. I'm not sure if that's the full amount, but that's quite a bit of money. Can we sell luxury goods anywhere else? I believe we can to Ben Nefer, which is a shit ton of cash to sell luxury goods. And maybe what I need to do is just sort of expand our gems industry so we can produce a bit of an overflow of gems and start selling that. Because we're only getting about 1500 now, so it's not a lot, but it's quite a bit. Don't think anyone buys pottery. Not yet, anyway. No, we can only sell luxury goods and gems at the moment. If we set up a linen industry, we could do that. Um, so yeah, this upper bit here, as I said earlier, this is going to be all food. That's going to be a bit of extra food. Maybe a little bit more food on this side and mostly barley and flax. So I will set up a few flax farms. 
It does mean I'm going to have to set up some housing here, which will drive our unemployment up, which is I don't really want to do right now. But we may have to, but we've got a lot of cash, so I think we should do it. You're not trying to buy more luxury goods, are you? Apparently we've got 1200, uh, 22 uh, luxury goods sold, even though... Yeah, we've, we've sold out over the two. Okay, that's fine. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and set up another little mini block. I don't even think it'll be a block, but we'll try to set up a bit of a housing area over here, and I'll come back in once we set up our flax industry. Okay, so I have set up a little bit of a block here. We will take care of them and provide them with at least some amenities, just to, because I don't like having an idea of just a little feeder area. Let's just make it a bit more realistic. Um, I think we should be able to get plenty of houses in here. I don't think these ones will be very, very well evolved, but we will shall see. We are in debt and there was no flood, which doesn't help. Still selling off luxury goods. I think we've sold off all we can. No, we haven't because the traders aren't coming. Where are they? I'm almost certain I saw traders earlier, but apparently not. Now, we are starting to stockpile a bit on gems. I did put down a couple more gem mines, which is why we're into debt now. Plenty of people coming through, and over here I have got this connected up. These are now working, so we can now get people going across this bit, which allows us to set up this. Unfortunately, these guys might start to go all the way across here. We might start to get a reduction in food, which doesn't help. But we are going to set up a linen industry and start selling that when we get a chance. Now, you should be able to walk all the way around here and get back without um, problems. It depends on which way. If you come down this way, you're probably going to turn back, which I don't want. Let's just watch it. We're getting plenty of people without evolving these houses, which is good. Let's just see. Yeah, you should be able to go around. That's the flood habit, and they're like, ugh. What's the next one? The next one's going to be good, which is helpful. Um. I'm going to actually wait to sell stuff before we do anything else, because at this point, there's no real purpose in doing it. Where are the traders? Are you going to come in and get us out of debt, please? That'd be very helpful. We're not going to import any more clay, because that's just going to wreck everything. So, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do... At this point, there's not much I can do except wait to get out of debt and try and stabilise the city. We have a problem where we've got too many people in the city, which doesn't help, so... Much as I don't want to, I'm going to have to delete houses. So let's just get rid of these houses here. 12%. Let's just get rid of all of them. I will put them back as we get more people and uh, things to employ them with. But for now, we're just going to sell stuff. So I'll come back in later once we've got our first supply of flax. Well, it's been a while. We've been playing this map for nearly five years. But finally, we've been asked to send some blocks of granite to Menefer. Interestingly enough, I just opened a trade route to Menefer to sell more luxury goods, so we could comply with this very easily. We've got 60 in stockpile. We've been stockpiling that for years. So as you can see, I am now selling to Menefer and Bedette. They're buying a lot more gems than I want, but it's okay. We are going to start selling as many luxury goods as we can. We want to get their money going. And over here, I put down a few more houses just to keep everything going. And Mendefer will pay for itself very quickly. Who's this? This is Mendefer going to buy luxury goods from the wrong dock, but that's okay. There we go, plenty of cash. And we've also got a bit of a linen uh, here. It must be the front that just came in and dismissed it. But we are going to set up some linen now. A couple of hundred linen. Not too much at the moment. But for now it's fine. What's our employment like? 12% unemployment. Jeez, that's a bit too much. Um, I'm not sure if I can do anything about that. Because uh, um, there was a good flood. 93% fertility, that's actually very good. But I've got plenty of food, that's fine. Uh, let's see, can we get one, two, yes, yeah, so we can have six breweries here, then just extra ones all around the outside and all that. Just have them everywhere. We want to produce a lot of commodities on this map for export, basically. So yeah, I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to come back in once we've started to evolve our house to get a bit more to deal with our... Well, we're going to have unemployment um, well, employment issues, but for now, I can't do anything about the city because I need to get money. So I'll let the money come in and I'll come back in once we've got a nice supply of, um, of cash to build the city.
In comes the next harvest, and you can see I've also set up a bit of a barley area as well. I've also planned out where I'm going to put more farms. The only problem is that this is the last entry point, so these farms are way up here might not get off the floodplain, but we will see later. Anyway, I did get a message saying that city health is quite poor, so we are going to start feeding this housing over here. Might as well. We are making plenty of cash now that we don't need to worry too much about building things. We have sold 2200 luxury goods to Menefer. Not much to bedet, which is unfortunate because um, we seem to have a bit of a supply issue. We don't seem to be making as many luxury goods as we were before. But it's helped to at least drive our expansion into uh, flax, or beer and linen, sorry. Uh, also over here I have put down another yard which is going to now accept pottery, just to keep these ones more closer. We can actually just import clay again actually right now. 2,000 people, we're halfway to our population target, but we have got a long way to go on build, building this city, sorry. Since we have so much cash, when I get more unemployment, I will put down this town palace. Um, not sure where I'm going to put it, because there's not much space. I may just put it down here, actually. Not this close, because I don't want it in the way of any areas I want to put yards near these docks. So I may just put it down here or something, I'm not too sure. But I'll think about that later. I will put down statues here as well. Uh, also over here I put down a little bit of a shrine wall just to keep the gods happy because they were getting a bit upset but that's okay so put down a few extra work camps too. Uh, so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to uh, diversify in the city and put down some desirability to, affect the, to negate the desirability effects of these buildings and uh, yeah I'll come back in once there's something interesting to show unless an event happens. What's this? Because of our strength in arms, Egypt has successfully conquered the renowned city of Salima Oasis, expanding our influence still further. Nice. So I think that might open as a trade route. It's now an Egyptian city. And I think it does open as a trade route. We may be able to start selling pottery to them. I'm not too sure. Anyway, harvest is in. And we're going to start selling linen and beer and all that because we have got a lot of money to spend. We'll also sell a bit of a more of a gem producing area over here. Just because we are not making enough jewellery anymore. We don't seem to be selling enough. And our flax is a little low. I've also moved this over so we've got a bit of a flax dump here as well. Uh, food is actually a little low so we are actually just going to put another one of those there. We're going to connect this so we can start uh, using that later. I think that number of farms we've got for barley and flax is more than enough to support this city. I'm um, not sure if we need to really go any higher than this. Anyway, there we go. Because the forest city of Salima Oasis has been subjugated by our troops which we weren't involved in, a new trade route can now be opened. Let's have a look. They sell us wood, they buy pottery, beer and linen. That's all very useful. And so we are actually going to open that trade route up. So let's just pay to open this trade route. It's not that expensive really. There we go. I don't think it would go in a straight line, but never mind. We can't import wood from there for no reason. So we've now got a new trade route. This map is very eventless. In fact, the first event that happened was in there. And we spent most of our time just doing nothing, really. And a few trade things happened as well. So we are starting to expand our city's borders, which is good. Get an unemployed. Also down here, I did put down the city palace covered by all of this. I haven't put down too much desirability. I don't want the city's housing evolving just yet. What's this? Buying linen, that's good. You bought a little bit. Salima will start to buy some of these things as well. In fact, we can just sell pottery. We have no use for it right now. And you come in by land trade route, which is connected, thankfully. So you should start buying some of this stuff as well and helping with our profits. So yeah, we've got plenty of um, jewellery being made, I think. Yep. Which is good. So yeah, I'm going to let this run. There's nothing really to do now. I just need to sort of boost our profits and expand the city somewhat. And uh, yeah, I'll come back in once we've decided we're going to start supplying pottery to our housing blocks. What's this? Due to the vigour of well-trained troops in the distant city of Abjadu, the Egyptian army was victorious. Well, there was no battle there. Anyway, we have succeeded at Abjadu apparently for no reason outside of our control. So there was a battle at Abjadu, we fought it and we won it. But well, we're not trading with them anyway because they sell us things that we don't need, which we cannot produce apart from plain stone, which we don't need. I don't know where the plain stone came from. And they buy things that we're not making or are not worth it. 
Hey, we've got a lot of luxury goods now well, willing to be sold. In fact, I think we can stop selling gems. We're not really getting any profit from it and it's just confusing the situation. We want Bidette to be buying expensive things, not um, cheap things. So plenty of beer as well. I think we can just expand our brewing capacity with a couple more of these. Let's just do one more weaver. And a potter here and there. Can I just rotate the map? Yes, I can. Just a roadblock there. So we should have now a nice big supply of everything. What's Salima buying? They're buying more linen, which is good. And they will exit the map forthwith. Now, I think we've got plenty of money that we can now start to support build, building up a military. We don't need a huge amount of military on this map. But I would like to set up one anyway. I'm not sure where I'm going to put things, but I could just put down a little bit of a military industry down in this corner, I think. Maybe even put it up here, I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll just put it there for now. We can just put down this, which is going to accept copper. We are not trading with a city that buy it sells us copper, but they buy lint too. I'm not going to open that yet. We're not... Uh, producing enough to sell to them to offset that cost right now, but we're doing fine. Over here I put down a nice shrine wall just to keep the gods nice and happy. I will put down the festival square at some point. Um, in fact, I could even put it here. I think that looks actually quite nice putting it right there. Yeah, I think we can do that. We can just connect that up over there. There we go. So we'll get some farms going, which is good. I'm actually just going to expand our farm capacity. How much food have we got? We don't have a, a lot, but let's just put down a few more farms, I think. Uh, yeah. We are not going to get all these farms covered, I don't think, because there's not enough space. And they're far too far away. I need more farms, though. So I'll just, um, yeah, just leave that here. I'll do. I think what I'm going to need to do is probably cross the Nile and put down a, a little bit over here to farm these uh, bits here. Um, yeah, we'll just put down a bunch of farms here. That'll do. There you go. So I'll set that up later. Because uh, there's no chance that they're going to get up to these top farms. Let's just delete them all. There. Okay, so I'm going to let this thing run, because we can get to four fires with just this. We don't really need much more housing. And I don't think we need to evolve them that high, because we've got 2,700, we just need another, what, 1,000? And we'll meet this target very easily. Just need to evolve the housing. Okay, so we'll continue to produce luxury goods, continue to sell them, and we will come back in once we have decided to evolve pottery into these houses, probably beer as well. Well, I've been expanding the city and look at this uh, labour shortage. We've got 111 employees short, which is not too good because we are going to need to really grow the city. So over here, I have put down a bit of a loop, which will allow us to expand our beer and linen producing capacity. Put down more housing has helped. And over here, I'm actually going to do something a little bit interesting. I'm actually going to provide food to this area. I'm not too sure how well it will work. But well, we could actually just import fish. Uh, so let's just put down this here to accept fish. And we're going to actually have a bit of an import for fish, I think. Use it accepting fish, yes. So over here, we're going to feed this little block with fish because I think that's a good idea. Let's put down a temple to who? I'll just give one to us. Um, Pata here. There we go. And uh, we can provide everyone with access to these basic things, 3,000 people. That's good. So you're going to just buy fish. We can actually just put down a few and this guy spawned in the wrong place. Which doesn't help. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, disease struck a house. Where? Oh, here. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's okay. Um, one, two, three, one, two. This is such an annoying an annoyance because it's right in an area where I would like to uh, build things. So let's just not have that there. And um, got plenty of work hands. I did have to roadblock around the back here. What's the next one's going to be terrible, which is going to screw up everything, which is not helpful. Let's just put this vessel square down and start giving vessels to Osiris. 
And um, yeah, so really at this point I'm just trying to expand the city in a very casual manner, which I don't like doing, but I have to. Let's actually just move this dentist. These didn't get harvested, which is unfortunate. Let's just do that, do that. The dentist spawns on the right side, okay that's fine. So we'll start providing some housing, to uh, some stuff to these people, because why not? Let's just provide, let's make everything look nice. Yeah, a couple of cats, that'll do. A couple of willows, there we go. So that should provide enough access to everything. And we'll provide a little bit of entertainment as well. So I think we're doing quite well now, and um, we're getting plenty of, and this is just shit floods. We need to boost the flooding quality, the next one should be good, which will help. Okay, so we're stockpiling gems now, which is pointless because we're not selling them anymore. In fact, I could sell gems if I wanted to, but I don't see the point. We've got way too many luxury goods in the city now, so I just need to solve, build the city. Yeah, so I'll come back in once we have a Voldra housing a bit more. We just need a, about, what is it, 900 people? Yeah, 900 people. And once we have evolved the housing, we should be able to get up to the population of prosperity. That's all it's holding us back, really. What's this? Uh, to honour the glory of Egypt, we need to send 22 blocks of sandstone to Abjadu in 16 months. That's very unfortunate because we're only stockpiling, what, 16. So we can rectify that. That's very easy to rectify. Let's just put this down and set this to accept sandstone and granite as well. And just in case we get large requests, we will have two lots. Actually, no. You're going to accept all granite. In fact, we can just set this to get maximum. And you're just going to accept sandstone only. And that should help. In terms of military, I haven't even bothered setting that up. We've got plenty of cash now that we should be fine. We had a couple of bad floods which just sort of decimated our food supply, but we're going to get another good flood after this, which is good. I'll also put down a few more fires up here. I did have some down here, but it didn't help because they were too far away. But it's not a problem now. Let's just have a flax farm there. Put a road up here. We don't really need much more. Yeah, we sort of do. Let's just put another barley farm there. That should be fine. I'm not going to probably feed this block. We can do, but I'm not probably going to waste my time doing that. So let's just import some copper from Timna. Let's do 400. Let's just put down a couple of weaponsmiths right there. But right, we can just connect this. Like so. Go that way. There. So we have a sort of a connection into the city now. Let's just um, do that. It's sort of pointless, but never mind. So we are getting close to our population target. The food supply problem is starting to cause havoc. So I think what we can do... Are these like... Yeah, these are going to devolve soon. So we're going to have to wait to the next harvest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run. I'm going to come back in once we started to evolve at least one of these blocks up to provide more workers. Okay, so I am going to evolve the housing now because we have met our culture rating. It will probably drop when we hit 4,000, but... We're also taxing people, that's helping with our exports and all that. Um, I'm continually holding vessels for size because these floods are really bad. Because uh, we don't have any irrigation, so let's provide pottery. Unplay at 7% is a bit of a problem. We're also developing a military down here. The problem, of course, is that one way to solve that is with a temple complex, but I've got nowhere to put it, which is because I've used up all the space, which doesn't help. Um, can I put it in here? No, nope, because of a sand dune, that's just very useful. Uh, where else can I put this? Uh, at the edge of the map? I don't think that'll build because it's the edge of the map. So I don't have anywhere to put the temple complex because I've run out of space, which doesn't help. Anyway, our housing is now nicely evolving into spacious homesteads. I don't think I'll go any higher than this. Just plaza all of this up. We have got shit tons of cash coming in now. It's like it's no longer a problem. That was a dreadful flood that we had last time. Hopefully you're going to be a perfect flood. Yes you are. That's perfect. Uh, one thing to note is I did say that this area is not accessible to ships. Uh, when the flood happens, you can actually put down things here. Like I can put a dock right there and it works. Of course the only problem with that is there's, it's not going to work when the flood's uh, receded. So not really something I would recommend doing. But we are getting plenty of food. It is sort of um, a little bit iffy at times, but... 
I think we should do just fine. Let's just put down a courthouse right there. And uh, yeah, we should be able to evolve this quite nice. So let's just provide beer to you guys. Might as well. Uh, Prosperity is there, so all I need to do is grow the population. So I will see you once we have got nearly uh, 4,000 people. Okay, that was entirely unexpected. The map just... We don't even have 4,000, but it must have jumped up at the end of the year with births. So, we won the mission. I can't even show you what the city looked like. We had our two housing blocks. I was just in the process of evolving this, and suddenly the mission won. So, <laughs> unexpected. Sorry about that. And, um, yeah, so we have completed Abu, and that has just built a city that's going to last a long time. Let us proceed. Well done! You have established a thriving city that other Egyptian cities look to as an example, and that Nubia looks to with envy. And they will be looking at envy of that, but we're not going to be attacking them or how to defend them too much. So that was Abu. Yeah, we'd had a huge population burst all of a sudden for births, so did push us over 4,000 unexpectedly. We had met all the other requirements, so not bad score. Done on hard mode. Fairly easy. Anyway, that was Abu. Um, the next video is going to be an uh, interesting mission, but we will talk about that later. If you want to head to that mission, just click on the card on the screen. Or if you wanted to look at Salima Oasis, you can also click back in the playlist. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye now.